everybody, Mailman here. In this video, we are going to compare ATN's Excite 4K Pro with the ATN Excite LTV. Compare videos, going to throw videos up, daylight videos, nighttime videos. Going to tell you the difference between the two, what I like about the two. In this video, we're going to go over all the information you need to decide between ATN's Excite 4K Pro or the new LTV series. <laughs> All right, let's jump right into that comparison. Excite 4K Pro up here on top, Excite LTV on the bottom. First thing you're gonna notice to tell the difference is that wheel control on the 4K Pros. LTVs do not have that. We're gonna go into the controls later. First thing we're gonna talk about is the size difference. Obvious size difference, the bell housing on the front of the 4K Pro is bigger. Whenever I mount these on my weapons, I wanna get the scope as close as I can to that front rolling but also allowing my focus ring to still turn. I don't want it to touch. Burst, extreme tactical high, burst, extreme tactical medium. So that's one of the difference in the mounting. I can mount the LTV lower. I wanna keep that lower so that I keep that kill shot in there, better trajectory when I sight it in. I wanna keep that barrel and that scope as close as I can. So we switch those mounts, different mounts for the different models to get it as close as we can. Now we'll go into the controls. The 4K Pro Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ballistic Calculator, you have all that. LTV, just a scaled down version, so you're going to take away Ballistic Calculator, Wi-Fi, all of that. The gallery, all of that is taken away to make it a lower price unit. Some guys just want to go out there, push a button, and record. So the 4K Pro has all the bells and whistles. Control on the side, that's going to be your zoom moving through your menu on that wheel control on the size. LTV, jump zooms. So you're gonna push in a button, you're gonna jump in a three to nine model, from three to about five to seven to nine and then back. So you're gonna jump through that progression on the LTV, on the 4K Pro to zoom in, you're using that wheel housing on the side. That's one of the biggest differences between the two. In that control, once you go into those menus, you're gonna find that the LTV has a simpler menu up on top of the screen, 4K Pro. You're gonna go into that menu that's typical with ATN, across the top, drop downs, and then you go into the menu. So the difference in the menus is, on the LT versions, LTV and the LT Thor, you can get in here and you can make those changes and you can see those changes in the screen. So you're gonna see the screen brightness change in the screen as you're watching your target. The 4K Pro, you're going to go into that menu. The menu is going to cover it up. You're going to change that screen brightness. Then you're going to go back and, and see if you like the difference. So simpler version, simple push button, more bells and whistles, bigger menu, more adjustments in the 4K Pro. Both of them are fine. Now we're going to jump into videos. Daylight videos, love both of them. Taking deer with both of them during the daylight. Going to throw up some 4K video here first. I just love these units in the daylight. Great deer hunting, lets me keep those memories. LTV has performed well this year with the deer hunting. Great daylight videos with both of these units. Early morning, that first hour, hour before sunrise, hour, half an hour before sunrise, depending on what your state allows. That last daylight time in the evening when that sun's setting, that last half an hour, that last hour, both of these units excel in the daylight. Going to jump to the biggest difference between the two in performance and that's going to be at night on the 4k pro here you're going to see this big aftermarket ir on the front the 4k pro loves more ir light you just you have to upgrade you really don't even use i don't even use this stock ir with the 4k pro another thing you're going to see on the 4k pro we'll throw up some footage i'm really a stickler on filling that whole screen with IR. I want to see that whole field of view. When I first got into ATN, and I still hear it a lot, is people buy that 3x14 for the field of view, field of view, field of view, but then they don't use it. They tighten that beam up, you got that circle or you got that square in their 4K Pro because it's focusing in on that light and then you have that black screen all around the 4K Pro. Still a great unit. My favorite Excite that I have so far, and I have three of them, is the 4K Pro 5x20. I love it. I do have a LTV coming 
the 5 by 15 I think that's going to be my favorite, but we'll see. So we're going to jump up here to the LTV. You see the stock IR light on the front. Lighter, I get around. I mount it easier. It goes in my cases easier. It's lighter. I haul this rifle around. I haul that light around. I don't have that extra weight. I don't have that extra bulkiness. I don't have those big batteries. That IR on that LTV is sufficient. I'm going to throw up some video on that. It fills that whole screen, even that little stock IR light whole field of view with the three by nine that I have right now I know that the five by fifteen is going to be the same I can scan farther with this unit the new sensor in that LTV is fantastic it allows you to take that smaller light put it in your case walk around with it you know a lot of times I stalk hogs a long distance I move into my coyote areas to get away from people I go in a long distance that lighter light less batteries to carry around less batteries to charge and go bad I love it that LTV, one of the favorite things about it is that full field of view fills up with that little light. I was such a stickler with adjusting that big light to get that whole screen filled. I want that great video of the whole screen lit up, be able to use that whole field of view. So much easier with the LTV. The 4K Pro is still capable, but you got to upgrade that IR. You're going to have to get a bigger IR light to, to maximize getting great footage with that. Okay, now we're going to go into the, some of the things that I miss on the LTV that the 4K Pro has and lean toward the 4K Pro side. First off is sound in the recordings. Great microphone on the 4K Pro. I can hear those coyotes howling. I, you can hear me calling what sounds I use whenever I get the recording. The LTV, when they took away some of the bells and whistles, there is no sound in the recording, but you still get a great video. So you take that into consideration. Another thing that... I miss sometimes out there in the field is whenever we take a shot with the LTV, there's no gallery feature to where I can go in and play back my video. So we're out there hunting, deer hunting. My son takes a shot at a deer. I know what I saw. I want to see what he saw. I want to see exactly where he aimed. I can't play back the video in there because it doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to go to my app, and it also doesn't have the gallery in it. So take that into consideration a little bit. You're still getting the video by pushing that button. But you're missing out on that watching that video again out there in the field. Watch that deer's reaction. Watch that hog's reaction. Make sure you're on her. So it's kind of like a traditional optic in that where you take the shot. You kind of rely on what the hunter's seeing and go from there. So there's some things that I miss with the LTV. There's some things that I love about the LTV. Dot rectical on there. So you got different rectangles, you change it to just that dot, it takes up very little area. You get used to looking at that, just that dot, put that dot on your target. Fantastic pinpoint accuracy where you don't have that kind of that big cross errors in the middle sometime too. So there's some features on the LTV that I love. I still love my 4K Pros. All the information you get, you can weigh back and forth. Any more questions you have, throw them in this video. I'll be glad to answer about either unit. I love both units. I love the LTV at night now because of the sensor. 4K Pro is still capable if you upgrade that IR. So thanks for watching. Many more to come from both units. I got four X sites I'll have at the end of the year here, and I'm going to continue to use them, continue to bring you videos from both of them. Any questions you have, throw in here. Contact me somehow through Facebook, Gene Wisniewski, Mailman29680. We will get you out there with the right ATN scope to do the job that you want and get those great videos.